Hello, my name is Jonathan Boshin, and welcome to another FCAT South County Spotlight. On this edition, I have five spotlights for you pertaining to our South County community. On the evening of Friday, May 31st, the Frontier Regional High School Class of 2024 officially graduated from the school. The commencement played out with several speeches consisting of graduating students, staff, and a commencement address by U.S. Representative Jim McGovern. After Jim McGovern's address, 96 graduates were then given their hard-earned diplomas. A complete video recording of the entire commencement is available from Frontier Community Access Television and was put together by FCAT staff members Kevin Murphy and Ben Roberts. All of the staff from Frontier Community Access Television wish the Frontier Class of 2024 the best with their futures. I would like you now to move your tassels from your right side to your left. You are now officially graduates of Frontier Regional School. Congratulations. On the morning of Saturday, June 1st, the town of Conway, Massachusetts held their annual town meeting and voted on 33 different articles, 32 of which were passed by the town. Of the 33 articles, three were very contested. Article 27, which was a vote to appropriate money from the Community Preservation Fund towards various projects in the town, drew much discussion as one of the projects was the construction of four pickleball courts. After a 40-minute discussion regarding some concerns with the sport of pickleball, the article was passed. Article 29 dealt with allowing non-residents to serve on town boards. This article was voted down after 15 minutes of discussion and was the only article that did not pass. The final article, Article 33, which was a citizen's petition to allow the Conway Select Board to petition the state of Massachusetts to vote in local municipal elections, drew up much discussion as well. However, after 15 minutes of debate, the town voted in favor of it and passed the article. A complete recording of the three-hour meeting is available from Frontier Community Access Television on the station's YouTube page. Repainting of the Sunderland Congregational Church steeple has been completed. This project was a CPA project that was approved of at the Sunderland Annual Town Meeting of 2023, and work began in late April of 2024 and was completed a month later at the end of May. The project was carried out and completed by the Robert Morgan Company, a company that was founded in 1906 and for over 100 years has specialized in restoring and maintaining church steeples around New England. Motorists driving by the church, and also spectators who ventured to the top of Mount Sugarloaf to enjoy a spectacular view of the Connecticut River, can now fully appreciate this beautiful, historic Sunderland landmark. On Sunday, May 26th, the town of Waitley, Massachusetts held its annual Memorial Day service and Spring Festival. In addition to several displays, food, and music by Seven Mile Line, amongst one of the attractions at the festival was the opening of the new Waitley Historical Society's exhibit, Childhood in Waitley from 1771 to 1950. Toys, puzzles, books, and other childhood memorabilia from these decades are all on display to chronicle this exhibit.
The exhibit is open to the public on Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and the first and third Saturdays of each month from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. by appointment. The exhibit will close in December of this year, thus viewers will have plenty of time to visit. Speaking of history, in the town of Waitley, the first weekend of June played host to the Waitley Engine Museum's annual open house. The museum is a private collection of vintage internal combustion engines curated by Bob and Irene Upham of Waitley, who generously show it off to the general public the first weekend of every June. This 2024 showing was a milestone year for the Uphams, as this would be their museum's 25th year showing off this impressive collection. And that, my friends, concludes this edition of the FCAT South County Spotlight. I will see you next time.